everybody, this is Bonnie from Bonnie's Creative Place.stampingup.net and today I am going to show you how to make this cute little Easter card. Isn't it cute? I just absolutely love it. Very quick, kind of. Um, it's just a little time consuming cutting out squares, but not that bad. So before we get started, I want to give you a little bit of news. As you all know, you can still get the chip bundle, so if you'd like that. And if you guys would like to order from me this month, um, anybody that orders from me can get the Creative Colleges Butterfly Card Tutorial for free. And also the Butterfly Balancely Bundle is available, and today we're going to be using the paper right here. So all the information for this will be in the description box below. So click on over there if you would like to order this bundle, part of it, any of it. Alrighty, so the stamp set and the dies that we're going to be using, we're going to be using Springtime Joy, and we're also going to be using Stitched Shaped Framelits um, for this card. Alright, so we are going to need in the Stitched Framelits, we're going to need the littlest square. That they have in the bundle. So I'm going to get out the little square and I just got a bunch of scraps that I've had from cutting out before and these are just papers from that butterfly set. There is a ton here in this uh, bundle and you can use whatever side you want. You could have added butterflies in around there but I chose just to use the the ones that had like the multicolored because I just thought it was pretty. This was one from there and then these three were together somehow and so I just chose to use these. So we're going to bring in the little guy and we're going to cut out, let's see, nine of these. I will probably pause and come back when I have all nine of them after I show you one or two. So we need platform one, uh, platform two, and then we're just going to put this DSP paper down. And I'm just going to sit this right on there, wherever I feel that I want. And then I'm just going to put this over top, and I'm going to get it started. They say it's best to offset these so that and the end there so that it goes through a lot easier and it does okay so and then when we're done just gonna pop it out and we are going to do eight more so I will be right back in just a moment okay guys I'm back and I've got all my uh, pieces cut out up there but I also forgot to tell you I am using the ornate layering dies. Now if you have uh, the rectangle dies, which I have, you could do one of these, but I found this to be the perfect piece for, um, for my white right in here. And we're going to bring in a piece of pool party, and this piece is five and a quarter by four. So it's five and a quarter by four. And I just kind of, I laid them out first how I thought I might like them. And then of course I switched things around if I thought, oh no, I don't like that color there. So I just kind of kept playing with them until I had them where I liked them. And I actually think that looks kind of cool. Just like that. And then we're going to have our piece of white in here. So you can either use a glue dot or you can use your snail adhesive. I'm going to use this just for the purpose of the video. I meant liquid glue, not glue dot. So <laughs> we're going to um, use this right here 
and we're just going to go ahead and we're just going to put all these down. So now that we have that down, now we're going to be doing a little bit of stamping. I know why I did this after was because I didn't want to cut off anything of the chick. And so by doing this um, afterwards, it made it a lot easier to, to stamp. So I'm going to get my little blocks here. Yeah. Okay, and I didn't shut my craft room door, so I'm sorry that you can hear the phone in the background, but um, you can. <sighs> and then we're going to stamp the bunny. Okay, and now I have to get the Happy Easter. And that came out of... Okay, so I'm taking the ornate... I'm taking the ornate uh, layering dies and I took out the little rectangle that's in here. If you have a different... I know they have rectangles, but they don't have stitched rectangles. And I wanted the stitch on this because I'm using the stitch squares. So I'm going to run this through and cut this out. Now I'm going to bring this in like so. I'm going to stamp the Happy Easter and I got my Happy Easter out of the arranged a wreath and I got the Happy Easter here but you can use whatever Happy Easter you have or you could use Welcome Spring if you want this to be like a spring card. You can do that also. There we go. And then I'm going to get my little chickies here. And I'm going to stamp one right about here. And then I'm going to stamp one. To get the end of that, I didn't get it too dark there. Right about there. There we go. And then I've gone ahead and I've already stamped the bunny. So now we're going to bring in some scrap paper so we can color this these little guys and I ended up using um, magenta yeah magenta madness light for the little flowers on the on her bow here because it's kind of or on her flower arrangement I guess I was trying to keep it very very um like subtle. I didn't want to go crazy. And then I took Crystal Coral Light and I did the other two flowers in that. Like that. And I used uh, Mint Macaroon. Oh, right here. Dark. And I used that for my leaves. Mm -hmm. There goes my phone again. <laughs> okay. And then I took Daffodil Delight, light and dark. And I'm going to color in the little chicks. Oop, wrong end. And I will color them in just like this. Yep. Mm -hmm. It seems like whenever I'm doing something, and I forgot to shut the door, so it's just going to echo in here. <laughs> then I took the dark and I just kind of touched on a few places that I thought would be 
fun to darken them up just a little bit. Then I went back over it with the light. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add this piece right down to our blue panel. And this one goes out a little bit farther than the blue ones that we put down, or the squares that we put down. So we'll put that down like that. And then we're going to take the bunny and we're gonna take a pair of scissors and we are going to fussy cut this bunny out. It doesn't take very long, um, but I will fast forward it. Okay, so there we go. Then I took a stamp and write marker and I'm going to take the brush tip end and all I'm going to do is I'm going to go around all of this, all the edges just to hide any white. You don't have to do this, it's just a personal preference. I like the look of it being more equal and so this is kind of what I do. Just be careful when you do it that you're not uh, you're not doing it too much that you're gonna get at some place you don't want it. Okay, and I like that. So now I'm just gonna take some Stampin' Dimensionals, and I've got some right here. And I'm going to put them on the back of the bunny. And I'm going to put the bunny right between these two chicks. Oh, I just noticed I forgot to use pumpkin pie dark to color in my little chick's nose. So you definitely want to do that. <laughs> There we go. And then I've got a piece of Whisper White that is eight and a half by five and a half, and we're going to score it at four and a quarter. Basically, you're just scoring the card right in half. Do a good little finger press. Or I like to really make it stick down if I'm going to put another layer on it, and I use my bone folder. That way, it makes it so that it doesn't pop up at all. I'm going to add some snail on the back of this Stampin' Seal. And then I'm going to put this right down here, just like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take some in color um, gems. I'm going to use my pokey tool. Yep, and my tape just fell on me. <laughs> and I'm just going to pick up these colors, and I just kind of added three little of these around the card. So it ends up looking just like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed my card. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button on the right-hand side, little pink square. Thanks for stopping by. Like, subscribe, all the good stuff. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.